and welcome back for a new video. One shot is apparently down, so I have to do this uh, with paint and uh, mind link. Uh, a dangerous combination, but let's just see how it goes. Don't forget to like this video here, comment down below, and subscribe before you begin. My name is Dexter, and let's start. Slow motion, times up by 10. Shots fired and travels to the wall. All the sand is now gathered at the wall, ready to explode. Final stage, reverse hybrid happens. Now let's do the entire clip, that way you'll be able to see everything. That's how you do that. So, the best way I can explain this is to kind of do this in pain. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's probably the best way I can help you guys out. So, on the screen right now you see there is um, a cobblestone, you see there is uh, sand, and you see there's a TNT and a bedrock. If you go to the next picture, you'll see that I set it up a little um, barrel. You see that to the right, and you see that this line here represent, or the bedrock here represent a pillar. If you go to the next picture here, we see that there is a uh, there is two TNT, there is one sand. So the top TNT is of course the sand that you used to stack with. The second is where the one shot sand is. The hammer and the scatter, and the splitter, and I'm gonna uh, talk a little bit about more, more about splitter, uh, and to see it down at the bottom there, the last TNT, is the reverse. If you go to the next picture here, you see that it's going to be at the wall now, and that basically means that we just shot this cannon here, and it is now at the wall. If you go to the next picture, you'll see that uh, the first thing that goes off is the splitter. And what the splitter does exactly is that it shoots the sand all the way up to where you wanted the sand to, to stack. So if it was a, a, a 255, then of course uh, 255 sand is going to be stacked up there and all the way down. Uh, so the sand, the main goal here is that the sand is getting fired up to the point where you want to hyper it. Alright? The middle sand is where the splitter is, the hammer is, the scatter is, the one shot sand is. The only thing that, that blows up in there is the splitter. Um, and because the splitter, hammer, scatter, and one shot is all inside the same block, it doesn't move. Nothing moves inside there. Um, so the splitter goes off, and then the reverse gets fired down. If you go to the next picture here, you see that the sand goes up, the reverse goes down, and you see the hammer in the middle. There is also scatter and one shot sand in there. Um, and of course, when you do that, it gets shut up. Uh, as you see in this picture here, of course there's no TNT actually yet, uh, but the sand is getting shut up, and if you don't have any blocks to stop it, it basically goes up all the way up to Jesus or a black Jesus. Uh, but that's not the point. Um, as you see, it goes up right now, uh, and it can keep going up until it reaches sky limit or whatever. And of course we need a block to stop it, and that's why the next picture comes in. Right here you see that I placed a, uh, sorry, a, a bedrock, and you see that the sand here is hit, hitting this. And that's the only thing that goes up right now, because the splitter goes off and the splitter fires the reverse down, and also the sand up, as you see in this picture right here. And why do we want to do this, and why don't we just fire up the sand and the hammer at the same time, is because if you have the hammer in the same block as the sand right now, nothing is going to stack. And you can't control how far up the sand goes, so you can't actually take power out until the sand is one block away from that uh, that bedrock. You can't control how far the, the sand goes up, but if you go to the next picture, you'll see that we can control how far down, and uh, how fast the, uh, the sand falls down. So the splitter fires the sand up against this bedrock, and two ticks after, the reverse comes in, shooting the hammer down up and stacking the sand. And that is because you cannot, again, you cannot mesh or you cannot decide how, uh, you cannot decide how, uh, how far the sand goes up, but what you can decide is how much the sand falls before you do something. And right here, it's just around two ticks um, that it will fall one block, as you see right here. Um, and if you go to the next picture, you'll see that that is where the splitter, uh, that's where the reverse have already fired. It has, 
it has basically shot the the hammer up, the the wet sand up, and the scatter up, and it is now above the sand. And this is the perfect environment to uh, to stack down. So if you go to the next picture, you'll see that it is now exploding uh, with all the scatter and stuff inside. And the last picture here is where you see it stacking up. So um, this is basically how it works. Like you cannot. You cannot decide how far up the sand goes, uh, but what you can decide is how far or how fast the sand goes down, or, or like you can even you can measure it. So the point in here is that the splitter is basically what makes the sand be one block away from that bedrock right there. That's basically what what's going on here. And, and as you probably already asked me in the comments, is that why does it not, why does it not work? Well, that's because when that splitter there fires off, you need to make sure that you have a backboard at the same Y level as the cannon platform, um, as kind of a ground. So so when the splitter goes off, the reverse is getting shot down, right? You don't want that uh, reverse to get shot shot too far down. You don't want that to happen, or else it's not gonna work. So you need some kind of platform, uh, sort of, so the the reverse is not getting shot all the way down to, to fucking bedrock. And that is also why you need some kind of platform uh, under where you are going to to do this, or else it it, it will not work. Uh, and that is basically how how that all all works out, guys. I hope that this explained a little bit on how uh, what actually happening at the wall. And and if this helped you, uh, go ahead and leave a comment, guys. I would really like to know if this helped you, and uh, maybe I can do this again with uh, some other cannons uh, or something like that. Because I, I think this is probably the best way to to kind of give you an idea of how everything worked. Uh, but a big ground ground tour here. Uh, the splitter is uh, find the sand up first and the reverse down. Next stop is the reverse firing, shooting the shooting the hammer up because the sand have already fallen one block. And then the hammer goes off, stacking it up, and then of course the red sand and scatter was inside the hammer, and then it's going to hybrid. Uh, and that is how that works out, guys. Uh, please remember to let me know if this helped you out. Alright, so now that you got the understanding on how uh, or what happens at the wall, now it's time to uh, uh, show you what is going on at the cannon and how you modify to shoot straight shoot because that is actually kind of important because people are actually starting to put walls all the way down to bedrock. So it is kind of smart to know how to do that. Uh, we're also going to need to learn how to reverse scatter uh, due to, I don't know, something. Uh, so let's just go ahead and, and figure that out. So. Right here, we have the reverse. This is, uh, as I showed you in the paint, is uh, uh, what shoots the hammer down up. Right here, we have the splitter. As uh, I showed you on the paint, that is what shoots the sand up and the reverse down. Uh, now, right here, we have the hammer down, that is, of course, what stacks the sand. Um, over here, as you probably know, we have the scatter, uh, we have the sand, we have the TNT rear liners. I'm going to go into why we need two of those uh, later. So this is how the setup was. This is how the setup is inside the barrel. Right here in the middle, that is this line right here. We have both the reverse right here because you see that guy there. Right? Okay, well I did this one, one wrong. Yeah, it needs to be one down, but you see how it is. I think no, 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 no. no. We don't know. No, no. But right here we have the reverse. Yeah, the reverse is that one. Yeah, now I'm following. The red sign right here. We have the hammer down, split, and scatter. We have the hammer down. We have the splitter. We have the scatter. We have the wet, uh, wet sand there that goes into to this block right here. Of course, there's a little trapdoor in the way here, but it's it's basically the same. And of course, right here at the top we have the sand stack because the sand stack comes in here, shoots over this is a triangle effect, and I'm not going to explain that right now. But uh, yeah, that is how you shoot it that way. Um, right here we have the TNT rear liners. We have one for the power here. Then we have one more, one more here for. Um, for the reverse, and because we use one for the reverse, is because as you can see right here, the sand, uh, the sand is shooting in from the left. Uh, if you do like this, this right here is left. No, no, oh, all right, this right here is left. So that means that when you're shooting the sand this way, you're shooting that left. You're taking the hammer down. You're shooting, whoop, you're shooting that. Uh, you're pushing that left along with the scatter. You're pushing left along with the wet stand. You're pushing left and the splitter here. You're pushing left. Everything is pushing left besides the reverse, and that is why you need the TNT rear liner right there. Um, and if you want to go into more uh, 
reverse left hybrid or something like that. You can mess around with this uh, uh, TNT reliner, but I'm not going to go into this right now. That's probably going to be in another video. So now we've got a normal cannon, uh, completely like yours that you downloaded from my channel or you might be on one shot. Now we need to get through this wall here. We do have everything capable of doing that. So let's put in a little bit more here. There we go. So the only thing you need to do is two steps. First, remove this, like whoop, like that. Then of course you're gonna need to remove this right here. That is the reverse, uh, like that. So that's it. And then of course change the guider. Um, that should be any common sense. You need to change that. So take the trapdoor out. Put a block right there. Uh, Maybe just better if you show it like that and set a block right there, and that's it. And of course, if you want to be safe, you can move it all the way out, but you don't really need to move it all the way out. You can have it right there. Now, let's go ahead and shoot this cannon and see if you can get uh, a normal stack up. Shouldn't be that hard. There we go, and the, the scatter is on a delay. You can change that right here if you if you want to change that. Let's go see if we are clipping. Nope, we're not clipping at all. And right now we're ready to uh, reverse scatter this one. So put the cannon back to normal. That is with this repeater here in two ticks. Both sides. There we go. Put the this one here back. Whetstone there. Whetstone there. Um, and of course change the guider back to normal as well. So everybody can follow along. Uh, we need a trap door. Oh, okay. You need a trap door like that. There we go. And make sure you can place a block right here. Uh, any any kind of block, just to make sure that you 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 did it right. So now that we've now that we have done that, now we need to reverse up. Um, what we're gonna use for this? Of course, we can't use the hammer down to push other thing up or push the split up. <sighs> That's not gonna work. So the reverse is not gonna affect this right here. Um, oh, so so it is going to affect this. So what we need to reverse is the reverse, and this uh, the the splitter. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So go ahead, take the hammer down off. You can do that right there. Perfect. And then of course we need to take these two blocks off, like that. All the way. There we go. And now we are ready to shoot. So let's go ahead and shoot this bad boy up. And we should see it reversing. There's probably other ways to do this as well. Uh, but this is one of the ways to do it. Uh, and there we go. And of course, we have some of the scatter down there that is on a, on a crazy delay. Uh, you can change that if, if, it, if you really want to. Uh, but you're not, you don't need to. I just like it on a long, on long delay for some reason. But as you see, it's working perfectly. And of course, that right there is the scatter. Don't worry about it. You can disable that right there if you want to. Uh, right here you can disable the scatter. Then there's no more scatter on this cannon. Uh, right here is the ticks uh, for the hammer down and the splitter. And of course there's going to be a two tick difference. Like this. Uh, between the splitter and the hammer down. And um, the, the nuking here is going uh, a full repeater after. Or the, a full repeater after the power. And of course, this one here goes on on one repeater after uh, after this one right here. Uh, that is basically how you do that. Uh, that's not really anything anything more into it. You don't need to uh, order of entity descent or anything like that. Uh, and that is basically how the reverse hybrid one tick works, and how you can make it work uh, just about anywhere. I do want to go over one more thing before we end up today. Uh, is that you do need a platform. On the same wire level as the cannon, so that means that if you have, um, uh, yeah, let's do grass box. So if there you have a bunch of glass box you want to reverse up on, let's just imagine that this one here is water cord. Uh, what you need to do is that you need to stack with sand. Uh, let me find the sand here. What you need to do is that you need to stack the sand up to the same Y level as the cannon. So we are at Y level 23 right now. So you need an, a stand stack up to 23 or else it will not work. And that is because the splitter, uh, when that goes off, it is shooting. Uh, let's see if I can find there and there. So what's going on is that it shoots the sand up. So that goes all the way up to where we want to have it. And the splitter is getting shut down. If 
we did not have this right here. The splitter will be fired all the way down to bedrock, and it simply cannot reach the hammer down, which is currently still in, in this block or uh, this block right here. Let me see. Yeah, this block right here. As you see that. So that is why you need that kind of backboard. You need some kind of backboard to stop the splitter from, from going around. Um, and yeah, I think that's just about it. This is the reverse hybrid uh, one shot. A reverse hybrid one tick guide and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please like this video here comment down below of what you think I could do better to teach you guys or to show you guys how things work or something like that or did you like the way it is right now I do know I had a lot of pain in it but that was kind of the most uh uh, the, the, no, that was probably the best way I could show you because I, I can't make something like this in Minecraft and make TNT stand completely still at a wall or whatsoever. So it was extremely hard for me to do this and I needed to find the right way to do, to help you guys out. And I did hope I helped you guys out. Uh, if I do, please comment down below. And if not, go ahead and comment down below and, and tell me what I can do better to help you. Because if... If I help you, then you help me, hopefully. Uh, so remember, if I helped you, subscribe to my channel, guys. Like this video here. Comment down below. My name is Dexter, and I'm out.